essential skills that we need to teach our patient with spinal cord injury to perform is transfer. And by transfer, we mean the ability to move from one surface to another. Uh, we will discuss transfer over several uh, videos uh, in which we will discuss the most for common form of transfer patients will do, which is transfer from or to a wheelchair. But before we do it on a wheelchair, we will start simply on two surfaces of the same height and we've chosen uh, chairs without uh, wheels so that they provide more stability. Uh, in order to teach the patient to do the transfer, uh, we will most often start it with parts to whole practice, meaning that we will take several components of the activity and teach the patient how to do them. And then after mastering those different components, we will practice the whole task. Uh, so for example, uh, in order to accomplish transfer, we need sufficient strength in the upper extremity. Uh, so that the patient, they need to lift their, uh, the body weight on their upper extremity. And in order to do that, we need to have the patient prepared by performing strengthening exercise to the shoulder depressors, to the uh, triceps. Um, these are the main ones for now. Uh, for, for example, if the patient doesn't have triceps, we will teach them a modified technique for transfer. Uh, that's one thing we need to practice ahead. Uh, another thing we need to teach the patient and make sure they understand is something we call head-hip relationship. And uh, wh what do we mean by that? Head-hip relationship uh, involves the use of momentum between uh, the components of the trunk to facilitate the movement. So let's say, for example, that our patient doesn't have um, any uh, voluntary movement from this double down, mid thoracic, okay? If we wanna transfer to this chair on my left, I need my buttocks to move to the left. And in order to do that, I will use the momentum of the trunk using head-head relationship by moving the head and the upper trunk to the right. So I will just demonstrate this component now and then we'll talk about all other components. So for example, here, we will do the left on the upper limb and then my buttocks are off the chair. In order to move them to the left, I will move my head and upper trunk to the right. So this is the head-hip relationship. And also it works up and down. So to do this move, I need to lift my buttock. So in order to do that, I will lower my head. So if we lower the head, the buttock will raise. So the movement is done like this, okay? And we teach the patient to do the two components together.